How's it going guys? Welcome back to my Minecraft survival series. So last episode we worked on the skeleton farm and I have started the beautification of it. Uh, I made sure the walls, or the roofs and the walls were all stone bricks, even the water layers. layers. Uh, it's only until it gets down to there that it's not really stone brick. Uh, I had to lower this kind of in this method to keep them from spawning one more higher and they spawn right about here uh, on this spawner so I just lowered it down like this but I wanted the roof to be straight across not quite symmetrical but if they were the same height I wouldn't have had that problem uh, but yeah everything is looking good I've kind of moved things up a bit these are just storage chests for now uh, I've got my inner chest there Got my little redstone access area here. And this leads up to the roof where I've done the redstone. I really need a torch there. Okay, and yeah, uh, so here's the plan today. Um, one, I need to beauty this up a bit more. I want the entrance to, I did kind of redo this entrance. It was just the cave that led up. Let me go up here and show you. It was just uh, a cave that led up around here. So that's the way I came in originally, but it goes down and around and through a mine shaft and all the way up here and then up and around. I found out it kind of goes right up to here. So I just dug straight up to that uh, area. So this thing works beautifully. There are a few problems with it. Uh, that's kill mode. There's one problem with kill mode and that is that if they have feather falling or something of that nature, they will not die. Um, so yeah, uh, that's XP mode, we flip this switch, and well, that's not a lot. They'll spawn more though. Just gotta wait. Come on. There we go, yeah. So let's turn that off. Uh, I did a little bit of enchanting earlier. Uh, I got a looting two, unbreaking three, knockback two sword. Uh, I got this pick, which is pretty much the best pick you can you can get. Still got my uh, nice little shovel there. Killed a zombie pigman for his nugget. Um, not really too much to say at the moment. I'm gonna kill these skeletons. Uh, oh, that uh, that was startling. Yeah, just one punch kill, and whack them with my looting sword and get even more. We're just gonna engage kill mode for these guys because I'm not worried about the XP at the moment. Uh, I'm gonna beauty this up at some point. I don't think that's what we're gonna do today. Uh, I think we're gonna work on the base area because. I need some storage, but I'm looking to get some of these items uh, over to my base. So let's uh, let's take that sand with us. Why not? Uh, da, 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 da. Let's organize this a little bit, and we're gonna take some of this uh, some of this stuff. We're gonna take the moss stone. I shouldn't need that. We'll take some of this. I don't think I'm going to be needing that. We'll just take a little bit of the stone, actually. Uh, da, 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 da. We'll take the cobble. And I think I'll leave the andesite and the diorite and everything here. I am going to take the dirt, though. We're not going to have any use for the dirt. Uh, and dirt is a precious commodity. But I'm going to meet you guys back over at the temple. So I got a few ideas for that that I want to uh, relay to you guys. So I'll meet you back over there in a bit. We are back at the Mayan temple here. Uh, and I wanted to do something with this that uh, I'm not sure how I want to do this. Let me get down where we can see here. There's a little bit of dirt patches there. I had to do some digging up of it so it's growing back. but. Uh, so this isn't exactly a Mayan temple, and I've been looking at it, and I kind of like that there's, um, I kind of like that, you know, we've got just the two walls up, but 
a real Mayan temple should have something kind of going across like this. So what I may do here is something a little bit like this. I just happen to have some cobble I went and grabbed. So let's uh let's just kind of lay it out here. Can you guess what I'm trying to do with this? So I want you guys to tell me how this is going to look. And then if we can get some of that dirt. This is going to be a true Mayan temple here. So that's first layer. We'll go up here and we'll put another one in here. And we'll do the rest in cobble. And then we gotta lay out the dirt. I'm gonna go down to the bottom here and have you guys tell me what the how this looks from this corner. Now see, that's how my oh, I fell in the water. Let me get in my boat. Get in the boat. See, that's how my temple's supposed to look. It's in tears. So I'm probably gonna follow that pattern on all sides of it. And I think that's I think that's what we're going to do, uh, or at least what I'm going to do. So I'm going to get that part of the base done, but that's just step one. Step two, though, that we're going to be working on today um, is the big important one, which is down here inside of the base. I have started to do some work. I think I might have mentioned this already, but I've cleared out all of this. This used to be all water. I go in here, this is the second layer. This used to be all water. I've done a little bit of work on it, but there's more water beyond there. So I've got a lot of water I need to remove, but it shouldn't be a problem as there's something in one of my chests back at my little area I was at. So let me go back there. Just go over here. Boom. I got a Depth Strider 3 protection for unbreaking three diamond boots. So I'm gonna do that water business. And I also got a Fortune 3 efficiency for unbreaking picks. So we're good, man. We've got some good, good, good stuff. Did make a helmet, but there's nothing interesting to enchant it with. Uh, but I'm gonna work on the tiers of this first. We'll get that taken care of so the grass will grow while we're working underground. We're going to get some storage set up this episode. Using these chests, that's not really uh, efficient. And we're going to start working on this base and putting the finishing touches on it because I am needing a home. This little bridge, uh, there's one thing I have some plans with this that maybe I, I was thinking, yeah, let's just fill it in with water. Uh, but I decided against that idea. I've got another idea for it. Uh, that I'm going to do that's going to make it lead over to this island kind of nice. So I'm going to get working on that. I uh, will see you guys in just a bit with some progress after I've done this tiers and we started to work on uh, the rest of it. So I'll be back in a bit, guys. This isn't even all of it, you guys. Uh, I've been doing a lot of work here. I've got pretty much all the water removed now. Um, this layer right here is the final tier, I believe. I'm pretty sure, yeah, because it's water. Oh, and I don't have, we'll just take this sand block. Actually, wait, I'll just put that cobble back. Anyway, so that is, this layer going all the way around is the grass layer of the bottom floor. 
So that pretty much means uh, if I remove this block, I think I can move these. This one, I don't think I can remove. Um, yeah, it pretty much means I can basically get this shape. I don't think I can remove this, no. Yep. Uh, so I can basically get this shape. I'm pretty sure I can't remove this either. Nope. Yeah, so we've got this tiered shape, and this is the final layer. I think I can remove this, but not this one. Oh, wait. Can't remove this one. Yep. But I should be able to remove this. Yep. And then that's the final tier. So this is pretty much what I'm doing right now is getting my skeleton of my base built here and removing this dirt and everything. It's going to give me a lot of room to work with actually. I was actually kind of surprised with how much this room is going to be because this all can all go pretty much. Uh, but yeah, I'm going to be back in a moment after I've removed pretty much most of this and uh, we'll see what uh, how much room I've actually got. Be right back. found a cave. We'll have to go explore that in a minute. Look at it. Look at it. Look at the tears. Okay, so all of the blocks that remain here on this roof so far are pretty much unable to be moved. If I break one, it reveals the sky. Uh, these are the stairs that lead up into the temple. My next step is going to be to remove pretty much everything below this mossy line. This is a line that begins mossy cobblestone. All of this I added to get rid of the water and raise up the temple a bit, but now it's going to have to go. It served its purpose, now we have to get rid of it. Uh, but it's pretty much my next step is to get rid of all this cobble, all this sand and dirt here, and just have a nice open room. I did find a cave here, you probably noticed. Oh shit! He's gonna kill me! <laughs> no! Oh man. Oh, that sucks. Alright, well, I'll be back in a moment. <laughs> Alright guys, so I have removed all of it. So this is the final product. Uh, well, not really. Uh, this is pretty much um, what we're gonna be working with. Um, so one thing I'm gonna do first, probably, is make the entrance. Uh, it's going to be a bit of a redstone project. Uh, so what I'm going to do, what I want to have, and this is the plan I have with these levers, is I want to make it to where you flick this middle lever that doesn't do anything, and it opens an entrance probably right here, I guess. Uh, I mean, I've already made it here. It opens this entrance, and, entrance, and otherwise, uh, this is just pretty much looks like that normally. But when it opens up, the blocks will reveal these little stair step secret entrance kind of deal and you can come down here and into the base so that's going to be my plan i'm going to work on that redstone um it's going to be rather complicated i am not good with redstone at all but i want that secret entrance man i want it um so i'm going to work on that it's going to be fill up a bit of the room probably because uh, i got to find a way to get these blocks to push over and come back up and then push another one up kind of have a double piston extender right here and have it pull the block away as well. Um, so I'm going to have to develop a way to do that. Uh, and then we'll probably work on this room a little bit. It's going to take a while to design this room and it's not all going to look with the dirt and everything. I'm going to cover this up eventually uh, with something. Not quite sure what yet. And this floor isn't going to be grass and stone and sand either. Um, but. I haven't really explored this cave yet. 
Uh, I'm probably not going to right now either. I don't know, I might go explore it. It looks like it goes back off that uh, that direction, but there's walls around these three sides. So I think it just drops down and goes off that direction. Uh, but I'm not gonna explore it uh, yet, or probably even this episode. I might do it in between to give myself a bit of a, uh, bit of a break. Uh, but for now, I'm gonna work on the redstone and uh, I'll probably be back with you guys in just a bit once I've done that. I am not good with redstone, so I'd rather you guys not watch me failing at it for an hour. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I'll be right back, and we will continue this. Well, I'll show you the product, and then we'll start working on where to put my chests and storage. All right, be right. All right, gang, so I have completed the redstone to this. Um, I've been working on this for hours, trying to find different ways of doing it. Um, and honestly, I gave up. <laughs> uh, I finally just went and looked up a video on how to do it. Uh, I'll leave a link in the description. It's uh, designed by Mumbo Jumbo. Probably one of the more compact uh, versions out there, which is exactly what I wanted, uh, was the most compact way I could do it. My way, one, didn't work, uh, and two, took up a lot of the area downstairs when I finally got most of it to work. Um, but let me go ahead and flick the middle lever here. You'll hear those pistons and lead straight down into the base. So let's take a look at the redstone a bit. Let me get some dirt just so you'll see. All right, so we've got a, uh, a monostable circuit here uh, and that is powered when this redstone block um, uh, retracts or pushes forward and then retracts. Uh, the input is right here. So this block is your input. I've run a repeater and some redstone, which let me get up there just so you can see. And it goes into this block and then it powers this redstone, this redstone, this redstone will power this repeater, which powers these pistons. There's a block here that powers the, uh, this piston gets powered and then this block will power the next piston to push it up. This one gets powered by this block. Uh, and then if we go over to the other side here, you've got a comparator for the monostable circuit. Uh, this redstone block will push out. Uh, that will basically cause the dropper to push it up and then back down. That causes the retraction of this block. So this double piston extender, what I could not figure out without having that monostable circuit was how to get it to retract. It kept I had no problem getting these pushed out and pushing everything up into place, but getting this to fall back down is the hard part. And that's why I ended up just looking at this design by Mumbo. That's on a uh, two tick delay. There's a repeater, I believe on top or behind, behind that piston that's on a four tick delay. And this whole thing pretty much, if I throw uh do I have a lever? I do not have a lever. Let me go grab one real quick. Nope. There we go. So if we come here and we power this. There we go. And let's just take a look in here. Whoop. Gotta get up there first. So yeah, four tick delay. These pistons basically push over and then this repeater powers this piston or the block underneath of it, which powers the piston and pushes the block up. So that's basically how it works. I mean, it's a uh, pretty simple design, not really. <laughs> um, yeah, definitely go check out Mumbo's video. It is, I will leave a link in the description. It is a fantastic design and I've never seen uh, a more compact version. Uh, this absolutely has to be a half slab to prevent this monostable circuit from activating, but otherwise, um, yeah, it's basic design. This redstone block will power this, which will power this repeater. <laughs> I just broke it. But yeah, please go give a look at uh, Mumbo's design. It's just, it's, oh man, it's gonna be hard, isn't it? Give me that back, and there we go, all right. But yeah, go take a look at it. Again, link in the description. I'm gonna continue working here. Uh, uh, one thing, uh, this right here, these pillars, that's gonna be part of the middle of the room. Um, I wanna hide the redstone, and one way I'm gonna do it is just by having 
this all kind of walled up. Uh, so this will all stretch over to here and to here. And it's probably going to be mossy cobble and everything. Um, I still haven't figured out if I want to how I want to decorate this room, um, but I am going to try to figure something out. I know I want to have things in quadrants, so like um, storage will probably be over in this quadrant because it's the first thing I'm going to come down right about here, I think. So storage, and I'll probably have something else over here, over there, and over here. Uh, but that's pretty much what I'm going to do. So my storage room is going to be right around in here. Uh, but yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna get to it uh, and figure out how I want to design uh, this room, get this middle pillar set up, and that'll probably be about all we have time for today. Uh, but I uh, will be back in just a moment. Okay, so I've got an idea here, uh, but this is just kind of a make a wop this up real quick here. Uh, I don't think this is exactly what I'm going for though. Um, I like the design of the mossy cobble, like kind of leading from this cobblestone, mossy cobblestone, into the actual mossy stone brick and stone brick design. I like that. I'm probably going to keep it. In fact, I have an idea for what I'll do with the roof. Uh, what's bothering me is it's not proportional. Uh, so since this side is, um, it's like one block longer. Yeah, see, that's why I had to do this middle design like that, and it's just kind of, I don't know, I'm trying to design this top portion to be equal, and it's not wanting to cooperate, and then this is all uneven, so it's probably going to take me a minute to figure out something that's going to work for this, um, but uh, I might do something, just have like a pillar area here, maybe have it to where you walk into the storage room, and then you can walk around everywhere else. That might be it. Okay, maybe have a hallway that leads that wraps around. You know, that actually wouldn't be a bad idea. Maybe just kind of have a hallway that wraps around to the different areas, and then right here it goes down further, and we just keep going down and down into the base. Eventually, we'd have to make a quick way up though, because I'm not going up and down these this rotunda the whole time. But yeah, I don't know. Um, we'll see what I'd do with it. Uh, I'll probably just, I'm, I'm going to piddle around for a little bit longer here on it, but this episode's already getting kind of long, uh, so we may have to call it quits here in just a moment. I worked uh, a little bit too much on destroying everything and getting this redstone entrance set up. Uh, I'm going to be going through a lot of mossy, uh, a lot of stone brick, rather. Uh, I brought my kitty cat down here. Probably just going to name him kitty cat at this point. Uh, but yeah, I'm not really too sure what I'm going to do with all this just yet. Uh, it's probably going to take some planning. I do have a good idea for the roof, though. The roof, at least for the storage room, is going to look fantastic. Um, we might just do this whole first floor kind of in the similar style as this brick here. And then as we go further down in the base, we'll come up to different ideas. But it's going to be a massive build. I just realized like everything about this is going to be m just massive because I've got this massive area I've dug out for it and then I'm planning to go further down with it. The staircase idea I think was pretty cool. Uh, but I'll, I'll, I'll figure it out and uh, I'll probably be back with you guys in just a bit. For those of you who don't know, you don't need silk touch to get webs, you just need shears. At least in 1.9, that is. All right, guys, so we're back in the base, and I've got a name for my kitty cat. My Kit Cat. My Kit Cat. That's gonna be his name, Kit Cat. Uh, so this is what I've got so far. Tell me what you think. The cobwebs I really like as an additive feature. Uh, the jungle leaves, definitely adding uh, some flavor to it. The floor needs to be done, obviously, but um, yeah, this is pretty much what I've got so far. Uh, I want to keep this feel going with the mossy stone brick uh, throughout this whole area, probably. I mean, it just, I want to make it seem like you're in, uh, in like a, an ancient, I guess like an ancient temple kind of feel that has been abandoned for a long time. Maybe throw some vines, if I can grab a couple, well, I think I have some in my inventory. No, I don't. I'll scrap some vines. 
Maybe throw some vines somewhere where they're not gonna spread or add some string under it to add a little bit more of an effect. Like, like maybe, I don't think I can do it there. I could do it there. Of course, that'll come hanging down, won't it? So that's not gonna work. Uh, but I might do something with the vines. Maybe add them like in there, here. I don't know, we'll figure that out. But I wanna have this ancient kind of temple look that's just been overgrown uh, quite a lot. And I think I'm accomplishing that a bit with the jungle leaves. These cobble pillars that kind of hang down off of it are kind of like broken up uh, roof top, roof, broken uh, pieces of roof that have just kind of collapsed. Um, but that's kind of what I'm going for for right now. I want to keep the idea of this temple, but get away from the, the mossy cobble and the cobblestone. That's, uh, that's how the out, outer rim looks. Uh, overall, this is kind of what I'm going with, and I like it. I really do. Uh, the floor, don't know what I'm going to do with that yet, but this episode's getting pretty long already. Man, that rain. Shut up. Uh, this episode's getting kind of long already. Next episode, I don't know if we're going to be working on this, because I'm kind of lacking a uh, bit of the creativity for it at the moment, but I may work on a different project uh, and see what comes from a, another project. Uh, but this is kind of the basis of going to be our build for this entire floor, I think. Um, one thing I've been thinking about doing is splitting these up into quadrants. I think I mentioned this, but maybe splitting these up into different areas, but keeping this theme going all around it so that it, again, looks like an ancient abandoned temple. Uh, as for the chests that were kind of not, you know, even on the arrangement here, uh, I managed to kind of pull it off um, just by by kind of adding two walls here, two walls here, but this comes over into this andesite area, whereas this side doesn't. It's not that big of a deal, really, but it is a little bit uneven, but it's hardly noticeable unless you're really looking at it. So I'm okay with it. I might move these chests over by one, maybe but it's kind of all right the way they are. Either way, uh, this is about all I'm gonna do for this episode. It's not much, I mean, we got the redstone going, we got the, the bit of a storage going, so I'm gonna be moving all my stuff out and kind of continuing from there, but this is the base for now. And uh, I guess I will see you guys on the next episode, but for now, I hope you all have a good one and take care.